Hi everyone, I'm John Poblock and welcome back to Eye on Harness Racing and welcome to the Delaware County Fairgrounds home of the Little Brown Jug. One week from today, these fairgrounds will be alive with about 50,000 avid harness racing fans and a collection of the sport's finest three-year-old pacing colts. As usual, the 67th edition of the Jug will offer something new, as progress has always been a hallmark of this pacing triple crown fixture. Phil, a new format for the Little Brown Jug in edition number 67. Tell us about it. We have lit, reduced the number of maximum starters to 24, so that uh, everybody, if we get 24 in, everybody's on the gate. Uh, it's always been a question about, you know, I drew the tray, you know, I drew the nine or the ten hole, and so we've limited to eight. Uh, by doing that, if we get more than 24, we'll uh, go with lifetime earnings. But everybody seems happy with that decision that's so that uh, they all start off fair. Now if we do three divisions we'll still start nine in the second heat. What effect will uh, video lottery terminals have on the little brown jug if any in years to come do you hope? One of the things that'll be good for us we won't we already saw it the increased breeding that we saw in the state this year. Now we won't see those horses get to the track until 15 but we do see a, a future that we're going to have those Ohio horse population increasing that's what we need here to survive. We always have a, you know, plenty of horses for our Grand Circuit events, but for us to do the full five days of great racing, I need those Ohio breads, and we will have them back, but unfortunately we won't see them until 15. One of the favorites in Delaware, no doubt, will be the Ohio-based and part-owned a rock and roll dance, who if he wins the jug will have to snap a two-race losing streak. He was a factor in both of those races, but as seen here in the Simcoe Stakes, he came up short for a second straight time for owner-trainer Jim Mullenix and driver Yannick Gingra. What are your thoughts about him getting around that track and you know, racing heats? Uh, it won't be an issue at all. You know, he, uh, He's trained all his life on a half-mile track. He uh, don't hit anywhere, runs out a little bit, so all the qualities that uh, you know could make it a uh, no, great half-mile track, and I know uh, Jim will have him uh, Totally on his toes for, the, for that race. That's a race he's been aiming for all year, so uh, they'll be, uh, no, he'll be ready. What would it mean to you to win for yourself and win for him? Oh, it'd be great. You know, I mean, it'd definitely be great to win for myself, but it'd be great to win for uh, for Jim. You know, uh, uh, my race was a medal in pace, and we got that accomplished. Um, you know, so uh, I'd love to. You know, I know the trail. I know how he would feel. Uh, you know, I, I can only maybe only imagine how really how he would feel because he's older than me, and he's like he said, he uh, he's dream of winning that race about a hundred times in his dreams and in his head. So uh, um, it'd be a trail to get it done for him. What's it like racing at Delaware? The Jug is such a unique experience. You know, you're at the fair. You're doing heats. It's a huge crowd. What's that whole experience like for you guys? Well, the jug is so different because, like, people are right on top of you. Like, they're right there on the fence. Um, you know, on Jug Day, there'll be anywhere from 40 to 50 thousand people, and uh, you know, it feels they're so close. You know, compared to the other tracks, and uh, you know, the two heats too. Um, you know, it goes back to traditions and stuff. So uh, it's definitely a very, very special day. Looking for a fun and easy way to learn more about standard bread racing? Harness Night School, Thursday nights. Enjoy access and learn the game from top racing insiders via chat and video. Miss a class? Read the archive. Harness Night School, Thursday nights. Let's get rolling. Trainer Tony Alanya has had the greatest year of his young career, and it could get even better this Saturday in the $1 million Canadian Trotting Classic Final. That's the next start for my MVP, a trotter who has knocked at the door all year long and who may be in line to take the next big step. Our Ken Weingartner spoke with Alanya via phone about my MVP and the great year Alanya has been having. Uh, you know, he was decent in his elimination. He wasn't quite as strong as the finish as he normally is, so we stroked him, and he still had some sickness in there from the previous Saturday. It was almost cleared up, but enough to affect his performance the last quarter. So given all that, I mean, is this a week where, you know, he, he might be overlooked and could jump up and surprise people? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think so. I mean, you know, there's one thing about this horse. So he's got no respect all year, so I don't see that changing anytime soon. You know, I mean, nobody, when the horse goes out, he, he started his elimination of the Hambo and heard in the final, you know, he still doesn't garner as much respect as a horse that's been as consistent as he has all year, and, and that's, you know, that's okay. Trackmaster has made a major addition to its offerings, 
Harness Pro is the most unique and powerful harness handicapping tool available, combining all the features found in a sophisticated handicapping software application with the simplicity of a printed advanced handicapping report conveniently presented as a web-based, all-in-one handicapping utility. Visit TrackMaster.com to learn about all the powerful features that Harness Pro contains. Freshman Philly Pacers will take to the track at Indiana Downs this coming Saturday in the Kentuckiana Stallion Management Stakes, and here are the top three horses in that one, as indicated in the exclusive Platinum Pass performances offered by TrackMaster. Power Ratings, it's another way to put yourself in the Paramutual Winner's Circle exclusively at TrackMaster.com. Ready for the latest advances in handicapping technology? TrackMaster is your solution. With 20 plus years of providing a wealth of information, TrackMaster has tools for every level of player. Pocket Handicapper and IPPs by Equibase. Revolutionary products for your smartphone and iPad. Drill down to charts and race videos. And with software like Plus Pro, even the most advanced players have sophisticated tools to succeed. The complete source for thoroughbred, quarter horse, and harness racing information. TrackMaster by Equibase for the serious player. The ranks of the Harness Racing Living Hall of Fame have just grown by two. Dick Stillings, a driver trainer who won the 1987 Jug with Jaguar Spur and who has won several Breeders' Crowns and other important races, will join Bob Quigley, an innovative and key executive at the birth of both the Meadowlands and Garden State Park, when the 2013 Hall of Fame class is formally inducted in Goshen, New York next July. Our congratulations go out to both. I was nominated a couple months ago and, and uh, uh, the ex expectations were great about me getting in, but I never dreamed it would be this early and uh, I thought it'd be oh, down the line and uh, to come in the paddock and everybody uh, was humming around. I wanted to know what ha what was going on and then they told me that I was inducted in the Hall of Fame and what a feeling that was. I mean, uh, tears come to my eyes and uh, you look back over the years and been here for, gosh, forever, so. And my thanks also go out this week to Paul Ramlo, who filled in quite capably last week while I was away on vacation. Next week, we'll bring you our Jug Day special from right here in Delaware and uh, special insights from our field reporter, Gigi Diaz. By the way, if you're here at Delaware, Ohio next week, please stop by the USTA tent adjacent to the log cabin on both Jugette Day at 9 a.m. and on Jug Day at 8 a.m. to hear the speaker series. Stars from the sport of harness racing will be here to speak and to answer your questions on uh, both of those days. And we'll be here at Delaware reporting on the big one on our next edition of Eye on Harness Racing.